A 51-year-old female lawyer, residing in a strictly residential area of Buenos Aires, presented to the emergency department in June 2018. She had a medical history of irritable bowel syndrome and hypothyroidism, the latter managed with levothyroxine 50 micrograms daily. Her condition had been closely monitored by an endocrinologist. The patient had been experiencing muscle pain and vertigo for one month, which progressively worsened to include abdominal pain, daily episodes of vomiting, up to three times per day, and increasing weakness over the prior week. She denied exposure to potential toxins, including alcohol, tobacco, herbal remedies, insecticides, medications other than levothyroxine, or any industrial pollutants in her environment. There were no similar symptoms reported among family members, neighbors, or close contacts. At the time of her initial physical examination, her vital signs were stable, but she exhibited disorientation in time and space, incoherent speech, jaundice, and asterixis, also known as flapping tremor. Subsequent examinations revealed alopecia affecting the scalp, armpits and eyebrows, brown facial macules, dry skin with absence of sweating, thickening of the skin on the soles of the feet, and ulcerations on the lower limbs. Additionally, she had generalized muscle weakness, reduced muscle tone, decreased reflexes, and loss of sensation in all four limbs. Upon admission, the patient was diagnosed with acute liver failure based on laboratory findings. Total bilirubin, 10.3 mg per deciliter. Direct bilirubin, 5 mg per deciliter aspartate transaminase or AST, 78 units per liter alanine transaminase or ALT, 194 units per liter. Prothrombin time, 40% international normalized ratio or INR, 1.7 albumin, 2.3 grams per deciliter platelet count. 60,000 per cubic millimeter lactate dehydrogenase, or LDH 1,130 units per liter C-reactive protein, or CRP, 69 milligrams per deciliter a brain computed tomography scan and abdominal ultrasound showed no abnormalities. Comprehensive testing ruled out infectious causes, such as hepatitis A, B, and C, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, and human immunodeficiency virus. Autoimmune disorders were also ruled out, with negative anti-mitochondrial antibody, anti-liver kidney microsomal antibody, smooth muscle antibody, and factor associated with neutral sphingomyelinase activation. Thyroid function was normal, eliminating endocrinological causes. The presence of alopecia, thickened skin on the soles of the feet, Ulcers and neurological symptoms raised suspicion of heavy metal poisoning, leading to targeted toxicological testing. With the diagnosis of acute liver failure of unknown cause, the patient was hospitalized for further evaluation and supportive treatment, including intravenous hydration, nutritional support, and liver protective measures. Heavy metal testing yielded the following key findings. Plasma thallium, 12 micrograms per deciliter, with a reference of less than or equal to 80 micrograms per deciliter. Thallium urinary excretion, 540 micrograms per gram of creatinine, with a reference of 0.4 to 10 micrograms per gram of creatinine, which is highly elevated. Although the plasma thallium level was not markedly elevated, her urinary thallium excretion was significantly increased, confirming chronic thallium poisoning. Upon confirming thallium poisoning, the patient was started on chelation therapy with oral D-penicillamine, 250 mg every 6 hours. This agent binds to thallium and promotes its renal excretion. Supportive therapy included electrolyte management, symptomatic treatment for nausea, muscle pain, and ongoing monitoring of liver function and neurological status. The patient showed progressive improvement after two weeks of chelation therapy and was discharged with continued outpatient treatment. Monthly follow-up showed a gradual 10% decrease in urinary thallium levels at each visit. By six months, all symptoms, including alopecia, neurological deficits, and skin changes had resolved. At the one-year mark, her urinary thallium level normalized to 2.3 micrograms per gram of creatinine. The patient made a full recovery with no residual symptoms. 
Despite extensive investigation, the source of her thallium exposure remained unidentified. Given the insidious nature of her symptoms and lack of apparent exposure, intentional or environmental exposure was suspected but could not be confirmed. The clinical presentation in this case aligns with previously documented reports of thallium poisoning, which is characterized by a classic triad abdominal pain peripheral neuropathy and alopecia. The timeline of symptom progression is a key diagnostic clue, typically following a predictable sequence. Gastrointestinal symptoms, such as nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, appear within hours of exposure. Neurological symptoms, including peripheral sensorimotor neuropathy, disorientation, psychosis, and seizures emerge after several days. Alopecia becomes apparent weeks later. Although thallium affects multiple organ systems, acute liver failure as an isolated presentation is rare. Instead, liver involvement usually occurs as part of multi-organ toxicity. Regarding treatment, the preferred antidote for thallium poisoning is Prussian blue, 3 grams daily for adults, which enhances fecal elimination of the metal. However, Prussian blue was not administered in this case due to a lack of immediate availability, the patient's chronic constipation, which contraindicated its use and its primary role in acute, rather than chronic, thallium poisoning. Instead, depenicillamine, a chelating agent, was chosen due to its availability and ability to promote thallium excretion. Chronic thallium poisoning is rare and often misdiagnosed due to its nonspecific symptoms. Alopecia, thickened skin on the soles of the feet, and peripheral neuropathy are hallmark features of chronic exposure and should prompt heavy metal testing. Normal plasma thallium levels do not exclude poisoning. Urinary excretion testing is more sensitive in chronic cases. Early chelation therapy with D-penicillamine led to full recovery in this case. Despite thorough investigation, the source of poisoning was never identified, underscoring the challenges in environmental and toxicological epidemiology. This case highlights the importance of early recognition of thallium poisoning, as even small doses can be fatal. A high index of suspicion is crucial, especially when unexplained alopecia occurs alongside gastrointestinal and neurological symptoms. Want to explore more fascinating medical cases and cutting-edge toxicology insights? Visit medicaltoxic.com for in-depth resources, case studies, and the latest updates in medical toxicology.